Happening um, right now as we speak, in fact, starting at this moment, is livid in Brisbane. Livid is something that we will be covering today and showing you a whole lot of bands of next week. And I'll tell you what bands in a minute. In the meantime, Scream Feeder has been showing us around their town and they end up at Livid Festival Impact. Here is Scream Feeder with my town. <laughs> Hi, we're Scream Feeder. I'm Tim. I'm Kelly. I'm Dean. We're going to show you around a bit of Brisbane. It's a beautiful sunny day. This is the city where we live, so let's go. Well, I don't know about the significance of the factory itself, but I know that um, it's the one landmark from Brisbane that's known all over the world, because you can go to any country more or less and buy Forex. You can go to England and buy it out of the bar, and you get the yellow can. It's got the picture of the factory, and it actually looks exactly like how the Forex factory really is. So that's, I guess, Brisbane's most exportable image. I was driving over the Story Bridge early one morning um, on the back of a motorcycle and um, as we drove over the Story Bridge we could see that someone had hung a noose down from one of the rafters or whatever they're called, one of the beams, and the place was crawling with police and I don't know whether someone tried to hang themselves or not but it was awfully exciting at the time. Aggressive driving. You can't get by without it, can you, Tim? No way. You've got to be... No way, baby. Safe. Aggression on the road. If I had my licence, I reckon I would just be a pure champion on the road. I know I would be. But you haven't got your licence, Dean. Sun Club Stadium, yeah. <laughs> it's what used to be called Lang Park, and it's a big football ground, and it's become a big corporate sponsorship zone, so it's pretty un unexciting, actually. I don't actually. think it's called Lang Park anymore. No, no it's, it's not. No, it's Sun Club Stadium, yeah. That's what I'm just saying. Oh, right. It's slated, eh? Here we are on the, the cliffs at Kangaroo Point, uh, overlooking the lovely city and the Brisbane River. We've got the kangaroo, no, what's it called? The kookaburra queen floating by. If you're a sport billy and you abseiling's your thing, this is the place. This is where abseiling happens. And if you're interested in a spot of studying, Queensland University of Technology is just across the river. In case you want to take that special sweetheart in your life out for a romantic evening, this is the place, baby. <laughs> When we were recording our new album um, at the studio, there was a ping pong table and it was always raining so we couldn't really go outside and do much. And so every half an hour or so, whenever we felt the tension rising, we'd go outside and have a game of pong. And um, it was really great. And since then, we've been hooked on ping pong. And Kelly and her boyfriend, Stephen, who lives here, they bought a table and it's been go ever since. There's never been that much known about Brisbane bands until recently with Regurgitator, Powderfinger, Ask Custard. We got all excited about playing again and we wrote a whole bunch of songs and went into the studio and recorded them with Paul McCurcher at Byron Bay, in the rain, with the cows and the horses. started yet, a few days early, but you'll see some pretty amazing rock and roll here with Star Beach headlining. And um, this is the 10th year, it's very exciting and it's him. Also on this stage, Weezer are playing, they're a great band. The Jesus Lizard are playing, they're another fantastic band you should definitely check out. Ash, uh, Regurgitator are playing, Powderfinger on various stages. Who else is playing? I'm playing a solo show over on stage four, which is over in the corner. What's that? What's going on? Does anyone know? Oh, jeez. Oh. 